It's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new tutorial. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to do that thing over there. So basically, how to get a Twitch chat into your 3D environment, whether that's VC face or your own Unity setup. So, as I mentioned before, today we're going to dive into how to do actual screen captures with transparency and get them into your Unity setup. We will be using something called Spout 2, which allows different applications to share textures between each other. It's very efficient as well. For this tutorial, you will need to use OBS Studio. This will not work with Streamlabs OBS. If you're using that, what are you doing with your life? Time to move to the normal OBS. Anyway, you will also need the very latest version of VCFace SDK, as this was just added to it a while ago. And also make sure to get the latest version of VCFace as well, so you get the support for that. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get started with how to install everything. Okay, so the first thing for us is to download the OBS Pout 2 plugin. You can go this by going to the URL in the description. And when you arrive to the GitHub page, go to the releases. And then simply download the installer. Or you can also get the manual install if you know where to install OBS plugins. But in our case, we're simply going to download this one and then install it install it to your OBS after that. Do notice that this will indeed only work with OBS, it will not work with Streamlabs OBS, so if you're using that, then I cannot help you with that. So once you have this Pout plugin installed to OBS, the first thing you want to do is, uh, of course, add some kind of source to your OBS. So today we are going to test this with Twitch chat. So I'm going to simply add my Twitch chat to the sources list. Now my Twitch chat is currently using a browser plugin. So I'm going to click browser source and I'm going to select my existing chat. And there we have it. So that's my chat box basically. And what I can now do is simply go to the filters and you can add a filter. Now for those that have like two, it should be somewhere under the effect filters. Search for spout filter. And then you need to give the spout texture a name. Now this is something you will need to enter in Unity. So make it something you will remember and remember it's case sensitive as well. So let's call it Spout Chat. And after you do it, remember to click the Change Spout Filter name. Click like so. And now what we're going to need to do is uh, go to Unity. Of course, you can first try to enter some text to the chat just to make sure that it actually works. And uh, if you can see text appearing, that's good. Now do leave the OBS open because it will then be easier to test that in Unity, once you're that far. Before we start Unity, we need to go download the Spout for Unity plugin. Now, this plugin doesn't have an actual release package, so when you arrive to the GitHub page, you will need to actually download the whole repository. So, what we are basically interested in is the Unity Spout demo folder. This will contain all the files we need. So when you arrive to the site, I guess the easiest way is to just download it all. If you know what you're doing, you can use Git to just get the files. But if you don't know what you're doing, simply click on the code button here and click the download zip. Now this will download the whole master branch. So simply download that and open it up. So once you open the file in any kind of package program, you will see there is a directory called Spot for Unity Master. Just get into that and then 
to the Unity Spout demo and here to the assets. And in here you will see two directories, Spout and Plugins. Now you should extract these out of the package. We will be adding these to our Unity project. Okay, so once you have extracted them somewhere, launch up your Unity. And now what you want to do is simply drag these two folders to your own assets. Okay, so now that you have those two folders here, you're ready to actually get started with the Spout source. And uh, this time it's gonna be the Spout receiver, which will allow us to bring an image to our avatar. So in most cases where this will be useful is when you actually are having a 3D room around your avatar. Today we are not having that, we're just gonna add a simple quad behind our character to show the texture in. So I have here imported my VRM file into the scene, so you may need to do that as well. So first of all, open up your avatar and now you can add a quad here. So right click, 3D object, and then select the quad. And now you should position this behind your character and make sure that you see the texture. So in this case, we need to rotate this around a little bit. Like so. Okay, so the next step is that we need to set a material for this. As you can see, this current default material does have some kind of shading and shading usually is not a very good idea when we are doing screen captures. So let's create a new material. So go to your project folder and simply create and then select uh, material. Let's call it uh, spout material, like so. And uh, to the shader, we could select some unlit shader. So let's go with the unlit shader that is part of the uni VRM. So VRM unlit texture. Let's go with that one. And uh, we're going to assign this to the quad, like so. Okay, now what we want to kind of get here is the chat. And you probably want to test this in Unity before you export anything. So we need to create a new object to the main level. Now make sure this will not be inside your avatar. Create an empty here. We can call it spout. And then let's click add component and search for spout. And add the component called spout. Like so. So this will be handling the texture or the whole spout system inside Unity. So we will be able to test things out. Okay, now let's select the quad again and uh, add a component. And this time let's add a spout receiver. Now make sure you add a correct spout receiver. It seems like I actually do have two different spout systems, so this was the wrong one. But if you only imported those files that we went through, you should have the correct spout receiver. So, now you will see a couple of values here. There is the sender and sender name. Now, if you set it to any, it will basically be capturing any spout texture you have. It's gonna be the first in the list it will be able to find. This is useful if you only have one source and don't really know what you're doing. But uh, if you have multiple sources, it's better that you specify it. And now in this text field, you need to enter the exact same text that we had in OBS. So in our case, it was called spout chat, like so. Okay, and now we should test this out. So to test it out, do click play. Okay. And now that we enter the play mode, you will see that it's actually showing up. Now, you also probably notice a couple of things. The texture is uh, not facing the right way and it's also not having a transparent background. These are luckily very easy fixes that we can do. 
so do leave the play mode, but do pay attention to which coordinates you need to flip. So as you can see, this needs to just be flipped upside down. So let's leave the play mode and uh, let's open our quad again. And now a couple of things we need to do. We need to change the texture. The unlit texture is not a transparent one. So let's search for a unlit cutout. So VRM unlit cutout. This will serve our purpose better. And now, since it was uh, flipped, we should set the tiling of the Y value to minus one. Like so. So now it should be flipped. So let's try clicking play again and see what happens. And as you can see, now it's facing the correct way and it is also transparent background. Now, if the quality of the texture is too bad, you will need to, of course, increase the size of the source in OBS a little bit. We can also make this slightly bigger. Okay, and now that you're done with it, the next step is for us to export our model. So simply select your model, go to VSF SDK, export avatar bundle and save it somewhere. Okay, and now that we are in VC phase, you will see that it is working. Now, in case you will see a white quad instead of this texture and you're 100% certain that your spout texture is correct, you need to go to the filters in OBS of the source and go to the spout filter and click on the change spout texture file name button a few times. I need to at least do this most of the times, but uh, some people do not. I'm not really sure what it is related to, but uh, at least during the making of this tutorial, it did happen. So simply click on the change spout filter name a few times and it will show up. Now, you may be wondering, where should you put this source then? And I can suggest that you actually hide it behind your normal capture window. So let's say that you are capturing a game and uh, your layout and uh, an avatar. Hide it under all of that, all these sources that you want to bring into the scene. And that way you will not see them double on the screen. And uh, something else to note, of course, is that since this is a capture that works all the time, it is, of course, real time. So you could even capture game screens, actual monitors, or even a web camera. As long as you add the spout filter to it, you will be able to send it to Unity. So feel free to go crazy with this. I hope you liked today's tutorial. And remember that you can indeed capture a lot of other things than just the chat you can capture games and monitors and whatever. And this tutorial does not only work with VC phase. You can also use it with a custom Unity setup if you have that. And um, if you do that though, I would recommend a different kind of a Spout plugin. If you're interested in what I would recommend, do write in comments, I can let you guys know in that case. Anyway, if you like the content, consider subscribing down below, as well as following me on all those other social medias as well. See you next time, cuties. Bye-bye!